Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm gonna to share with you how I would start my agency again from scratch and get to 10K per month. A lot of you that are following me on YouTube, I think are either in a recruitment agency right now, looking to start your own agency, or you've already got an agency that you're looking to scale. Now, for some of you, you've requested a video of like, what I would actually do if I was to start all again uh, from scratch tomorrow, James, like, how would you make your money back? And what I'm gonna break down for you in today's video is the exact steps that I would take in order to get to 10K per month quite quickly. So the first thing that we need to start off with is defining your niche. So when you start an agency, you need to be a specialist in a market. Now, there's no point going broad. Uh, we talk about going inch wide, uh, mile deep in your niche. So for example, I normally say like pick three job titles in a sector. So for instance, for my agency, uh, it was technology uh, in a location. So I like to stick to like a, a close location where I'm based so I can actually go out and meet my clients now. You can leverage technology and you can leverage email campaigns, LinkedIn automation campaigns, video outreach, and that's something that we'll cover off. But it's also very important that you can meet clients in person because when I look at uh, some of the business that I won when I started, I was out there, sleeves up, uh, hustling, uh, going to meet clients at entrepreneur events, tech events, etc. So the first thing we need to uh, define is what is your niche? So you need to think of uh, where your unfair advantage is. So if you've got previous experience in an industry, I would start with that. If you've got contacts in an industry that you've worked on before uh, that you could sort of leverage, then you, you need to start using some uh, unfair advantages. Now, once you've defined your niche, uh, you need to map your market out. So what I would do first, 3000 company contacts in a spreadsheet. So there's loads of uh, email lead finder tools out there. Apollo is one of them. Uh, now we're starting to use Clay with uh, a couple of other lead finder tools as well, which is really good. I'll cover that off in another video. And I would start to map my market. So I have uh, two points of contact uh, for each company. Uh, so that might be a hiring manager and then also uh, the CEO, founder, director, uh, C-suite. And get email addresses and LinkedIn URLs. So once we got that list together, so I would, uh, if I was to do it quickly, I would find someone on Fiverr, Upwork, I would welcome for a quick loom video how I would like that list built and then get that list back. In the meantime, what I would do is I would start looking for live jobs. So this is like the low hanging fruit guys. So uh, if there's a client out there that's actually hiring for a role that you uh, define as your niche, you know, we mentioned the three job titles, I would start connecting in with them on LinkedIn. I would try and find their email address using uh, some lead finder tools. I would send them a message on uh, LinkedIn and both email. But what I would personally do is a Loom video. So Loom videos are really important to uh, get your name out there and uh, to present why you should be chosen as the agency of choice uh, to work that job. And then most importantly, like the biggest hack would be to sign up to events that are happening in that niche in that area. And I would be foot on the ground and I would be at least trying to get two to three meetings per week. And that would be meeting clients face to face to get a chance to pitch to them. But yeah, that would be the, the three step plan to get the client first. Cause without a paying client, ladies and gentlemen, you're never gonna get a 10K placement, okay? Now for most industries, it only takes one placement to make you 10K a month. So once you've got a live job, the client, I would say you need at least three to four uh, live vacancies in order to get one placement, okay? Because normally the one in three ratio rule is like you'll fill one in three uh, live jobs because obviously speed to market, you might not be connected into your candidate market yet on LinkedIn, because that's gonna take some time, okay, if I was starting from scratch. So to leverage that, I would uh, use LinkedIn Premium and I would probably get LinkedIn Recruiter Lite and just, uh, I think, run about $100, $150 a month, because uh, it gives me some opportunity to get some emails whilst I'm trying to find emails as well and connect them with them on LinkedIn. One thing I missed out was like a website. So people talk about websites, oh, James, I need a fancy website uh, to get going. Trust me, you don't. Uh, for those of you that know, when I started my agency almost 10 years ago, uh, I started with a $50 uh, basic website. It wasn't even a WordPress website. Um, I can't remember what we built it on now. I think uh, uh, Wix, it was Wix.com. Wix uh, my, my younger brother uh, built that, cost about $50, $100. And, and it was just a landing page and that's all you need to get started. Um, and 
that's what I would do the first uh, 90 days or so. That would be my 90 day checklist to get a 10K per month. And I think realistically the 90 day time frame uh, in this generation is enough to get to 10K per month. And uh, the luxury that a lot of you have like listening now is you can leverage a lot of technology and automation to do a lot of this for you, uh, but you're still gonna have to put in the work. So um, one of the things that I would end on would be like doing the work is it's the path to least resistance. So like when you're doing your core uh, work, let's say for four hours of uh, fire mode, as I call it, um, leave your phone in another room, for example, put it in a safe, stay hyper-focused on how you're doing the work, like delete social media apps from your phone, etc. cetera. Um, because human behavior follows the law of least effort. So we will naturally uh, move towards like the option of, uh, that takes like the least effort and amount of work. And for you to get to your first 10K month, it requires a lot of work. It's not gonna be easy. You're gonna take a lot of rejection. And uh, that's that's like the, the way life goes yeah, as entrepreneurs. So um, the last mile is always the least crowded is a, a famous quote that I love uh, to read back because what we're doing here when you're building out your agency is brick by brick, step by step. It is gonna take a little bit of time and this is why we must install daily habits um, and I would have like a daily habit ritual in my first uh, 90 days to get to 10K months of like how many Loom videos I'm gonna do, how many LinkedIn uh, selfie videos I'm gonna do and how many times I'm gonna follow up, how many client meetings I'm gonna do to follow up uh, to get the clients on and then it's making sure that I can find those candidates and get them to interview stage. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you haven't started your agency yet or you're still struggling to get your 10K month, I would uh, stick to that checklist. I'm going to see if I can tag uh, in the comments below. Uh, we've got like a, a Google Doc checklist uh, that you can have for free uh, just to keep you on uh, the track. And uh, I will catch you soon.